Hi guys, Chris at Rockford Ordnance. Today we are doing a little review on a, a gun that I really like. It's the Arsenal 107R, uh, SLR 107R uh, in 762 by 39, hence the 107. Uh, this gun started out life not as you see it, uh, but it came with, it was one of their plum versions, had uh, plum polymer uh, furniture on it, which was nice, it's a little different, kind of like the plum, uh, standard USA issue, had the uh, heat shield in the handguard. Uh, about the only thing I can say that I don't like about it was it's kind of a matte finish and it shows some scratches kind of quick but you know not a big deal I'm, I'm one of those guys likes to keep my stuff uh, really nice his scratches kind of bug me a little bit but yeah whatever I've got my guns I shoot every day that I beat the snot out of and then some other stuff that I like to keep nice but standard uh, polymer uh, stock and, and uh, handguard a rib steel plate on the back with uh, the opening for the cleaning kit. Comes with the cleaning kit, an oil bottle, uh, Bulgarian sling, and a, I believe a 10 round mag uh, as standard equipment. Um, obviously, you can see we've done a few things to this one uh, just to make it a little more user friendly. Um, this gun is pretty much as standard a stamped receiver gun as you're going to find on the market today uh, similar to what the Wasser is everything uh, pretty they make a ton of accessories for it standard stocks are going to fit whether you want to put you know wood on there from uh, a Russian wood stock and, and uh, handguard and whatnot it's all going to fit guys all the accessories top covers uh, grips uh, uh, gas tubes whatever it's all the same trigger groups standard stamped receiver one millimeter uh, as basic an AEK as you're gonna find um, what we've done to this is we've put a stock adapter on it and uh, I believe this is a rifle dynamics and we've put a Mission First Tactical Minimalist stock on it. Uh, it has the Bulgarian sling that it came with. We left the pistol grip alone, the plum one. Uh, Circle 10 mag, which doesn't get more reliable than that. Uh, a Bravo Company uh, forward grip. We replaced the polymer handguard. Uh, with a TDI Arms aluminum M-Lock handguard. Super nice handguard for the money, guys. Under a hundred bucks. Uh, it's M-Lock compatible. It's got room to run uh, wires for any of your electronics and such. Uh, we also replaced the standard muzzle nut that came with it with a Meridian Defense BD2 brake. You'll see in some of the, uh, when we're shooting, uh, no muzzle rise out of this really lowers the recoil keeps things on target magnificently also uh, we've went to an RS regulate mount with the forward uh, uh, micro dot uh, top on it and a primary arms uh, red dot super light I I guess this whole unit weighs less than eight ounces. Um, works great too, slides right in, locks in, holds zero, no problem with it. Um, I did run into one thing and it was my fault. I forgot to lock tight these two screws in. Came loose the first time I had it out sighting it in, but not a big deal. Um, you can co-witness the sights with this, no problem in the lower third. Uh, it's a little tight, but you can co-witness with it. Uh, we put on the cheese grater uh, gas tube cover 
just because I thought it was kind of cool. I like it. Standard sights, uh, thousand yard sights adjustable on this. Uh, I believe it's a thousand. Actually, no, it's 800. Um, we also put in an ALG trigger. I am a huge fan of these ALG triggers. Um, it comes standard with Arsenal's Fimes uh, trigger group and there's nothing wrong with it, but these uh, ALG triggers are just magnificent. Super uh, short take up, super short reset. Um, they make two, one, this is the ET and then there's the Ultimate. Ultimate, if you want a target trigger, is great, super light, super slick, but this is all you need, guys, for 60 bucks. It works phenomenally. It does take a little bit of fitting, uh, but nothing crazy. For the most part, it's fairly drop-in, but on a few rifles, and this is one of them, the, uh, uh, the Arsenal's are one that needs a little more fitting than others and basically it's because of that rivet down here in the bottom for whatever reason on the arsenals they stand up a little higher and you can do a couple things you can either uh, grind that rivet down sand it down a little bit or remove a little bit from the disconnector which is what I chose to do and it's a super nice trigger I'll show you the uh, if you can see the uh, reset super short and just a magnificent trigger I'd say we're probably under four pounds on this maybe under three uh, super super nice just love it uh, this gun so you know has about thousand rounds through it as far as wear goes um, there's a little bit of wear on the hammer, if you can see that, uh, but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, as far as the bolt and uh, carrier go, the carrier, the tail on it, um, there's a little bit of wear, but no mushrooming at all and uh, it may have gotten flattened out a little just a hair but there's no mushrooming nothing uh, the finish on this is has surprisingly held up really well uh, the piston and all is in great shape no issues there uh, standard recoil spring uh, the bolt uh, is held up well little finish wear I'm going to get into the one, well, a couple issues that I did have with the gun. Number one, when I first got it and started running some rounds through it, uh, it was hanging up and the bolt wasn't coming completely forward into battery. And at, at first I thought, well, it's a round hanging up or something. Then I got to looking a little closer. And what was happening was the carrier was hanging up on the front trunnion here. Right uh, here on the carrier, right here, as it went into the grooves of the trunnion, it was hanging up. And the reason being, after I got to looking at it, is that the rails were sitting a little high, just a hair high so it would catch here. Well, lo and behold, after a couple hundred rounds, it kind of wore in, but it, it almost looks a little chipped, and I'll show you some better pictures of it. But it's more like it kind of mushroomed the trunnion a little bit here. What I did to solve it, because when you'd hand rack it, you wouldn't feel it, but uh, when you uh, fired the gun, with the mag up in there, it was putting enough pressure upwards on the carrier that it would hit that trunnion and just stop dead right there. So what we did was, I noticed on a lot of my other guns, the uh, front of the left lug, the top of the left lug here, we angled a little bit. 
just so it had a little angle coming into that trunnion. And that seemed to solve it and it wore in and it hasn't progressed any at all. But in my opinion, for what you pay for these guns and you know, if you can still find these, they're probably around a thousand bucks. Uh, when you can look at something like a Wasser maybe for, you know, 650, 700, 750. Uh, is this gun that much better than a Wasser? I don't think so. Um, they talk about candid sights and all that on a Wasser. Well, let's talk about what I had to do on this. Uh, got the gun, didn't look that far off, but had to adjust the sights and it was way over, way more over than I would like. Too close to the, to the ear and just uncomfortable sight picture, picture didn't like it. So got to looking at it and sure enough it was canted and so was the gas block. So I had to drive the pins out, had to straighten everything out, put the pins back in and now it's fine. I will say now that that's all done and this is broken in, the gun is super smooth, super smoother than my Wasser. But I shouldn't have to do that guys, not for that kind of money. It, it just, and, and to have the wear that I have on that little bit of the trunnion there, in my book, it just doesn't make sense. The other thing, and most of you know this already, this arsenal paint is just garbage. Um, you can see, maybe you can see the discoloration in the barrel and the gas block. Right away, one mag, and it was turning gold and purple and blue and different colors. And uh, that was the paint burning off. And I don't know if there's paint left on here or if it's gone. I get a feeling it's kind of gone. It's held up on the receiver okay. But the barrel and all, is it just junk. Um, in my opinion, uh, if I keep this gun, I'm probably going to spend the money and Cerakote it. Uh, it. It's just a horrible finish. Um, would I purchase one again? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, uh, again, the finish, the gas block being off, the uh, front sight being off, the big issue of the trunnion hanging up on the bolt. I, I just don't see the value in the gun. Um, does it shoot well as we have it equipped? Yes. Yes, it does. Now it's it's all better so to speak but uh, uh, highly disappointing it's uh, I've got a lot of rifles but this is one I thought I should have and it doesn't live up to its name in my book um, take it for what it's worth uh, like I said it, it shoots super smooth and uh, now that it's all worked out I like it a lot but would I do it again probably not one man's opinion uh, I think for that kind of money I'd save a couple hundred bucks buy the Wasser put the attachments on uh, that I have on here and set it up this way and be perfectly happy uh, so uh, just bringing it to you showing you another one of the rifles and giving the, you our opinion uh, please if you have any comments leave them in the comment section and as always please like and if you feel like it subscribe to our videos we'd really appreciate it thanks again this is chris at rockford ordinance and we'll see you next time